Hey dudes and dudettes, this is X-Team Featurette. I'm Chris. Wanted to make a short video today about a movie I saw recently called Hashtag Screamers. Um, or maybe it's just Screamers. It could be. But I went to this flick because um, a local theater row house in Pittsburgh was showing this um, Dread Central Presents screening. And I try to go to everything that Dread Central Presents does because they're just like, you know, supporting indie horror and I wanted to support them, support my local theater, and uh, I really appreciate them doing this. Uh, we're lucky enough in Pittsburgh to get all, like, all of their, you know, events that they do, all their screenings, so I'm gonna keep supporting them. Um, if you're interested in, like, you know, indie horror, Dread Central stuff, check out their website, because they do this in, like, um, different cities throughout the country. Um, so, I mean, they're always, like, putting out different stuff. And if not, they're putting out stuff on, like, video on demand and stuff. In fact, this movie, uh, Hashtag Screamers, um, today's, like, the 19th of April. I think, like, yesterday or two days ago, it came out on video on demand. It's on, like, it's on, like, everything. Like, iTunes, Google Play, like, you know, Comcast, Dish, whatever. So, if you are interested in checking this out, you should have an outlet to be able to do so. Um, I don't know. I mean... Would I watch it again? Maybe. I mean, like, okay, right off the bat, the first hour of the, uh, of the flick is, like, super, super slow. It's, um, pardon me, I got some, uh, this stuff is delicious. It's coconut mango oolong tea from the Stash Tea Company in my limited edition Lewis Switcher Show mug, limited to one. Fan club exclusive. So at the uh, at the you know screening or at this poster, I don't know. I think they always do that whenever they have Dread Central present stuff. Maybe when you hear the scream, it's already too late. So um, this is all I knew about the movie going into it. Didn't watch the trailer or anything. It's got a laptop with this creepy dude with um, you know a horrible grimace. Looks like he's got some bad veneers. Hashtag screamers, and it says giggler.com in the background, which is about, you know, like 80% of the movie is like, is like the, um, the two main dudes talking about the premise of this video website that they created. FYI, there will be some spoilers in here because, I don't know, that's what I do. So, um, yeah, I'll give you a warning though before I spoil the end because I will because it's just like... I don't know. I didn't know what was going on. But, um, so, like, these two main dudes, and by the way, like, the four main, like, um, actors, like, all, like, went by their own names. So, like, um, Tom was, like, the main dude, like, the guy who came up with the idea for the video, uh, website or whatever. Um, he kind of, and what's interesting is, like, this this was kind of, like, filmed in, like, the style of, like, The Office in that the people that created this company were talking about their company. They were sitting in front of a camera, like, talking, um, explaining their ideas to the camera solo, just like The Office. So that was, like, kind of weird, um, because this dude reminded me of Ed Helms' character in The Office, uh, Andy or whatever, because he was, like, all, like, smiley and, like, uh, you know, kind of weird. But, um, he was cool. He was the one that did all the things that you never do in horror movies and got them into trouble. So, you know, shame on you, Tom. Uh, Chris was the other dude. He was more, I think, like, the mastermind or, like, the creative dude behind the website idea. Um, and I really liked his acting style. I mean, it was, like, a little, like, over the top. But he did this thing, like, where he would be talking to the camera and he would, he would... He would sit there and be like, uh, 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 we, uh, uh, and he would like kind of stammer and, um, it really remind. now I'm doing it, like it's contagious, but, um, he would, he would do that and he would just kind of like, it was like, it reminded me of like the startups and things like that or like, um, I don't know, just like artists, like creative people. If you ever see like a, um, interview or something where they're like, interviewing like an artist about something or you know whatever 
you'll see these people like searching for words to express themselves to you. And he did that. He did it kind of a lot. So it was almost to the point that it was like too much, but that's how people really are sometimes. So I thought that was a really cool acting choice on Chris's behalf. So um, that was really neat. He, w he was a cool character. He was probably my favorite. I mean, it wasn't any bias because of the name, I swear. Um, the other, the camera guy was Griffin. He was just like this cool hipster guy. And the main chick was um, Abby. And she was just like this, she was supposed to be like this quiet, um, hacking mastermind. She was like a, a sleuth, an online sleuth. So, like, Giggler was supposed to be, like, and granted, this was produced in 2016. It wasn't um, released until recently, I guess, 2018. Um, so, the premise behind the website's kind of, I don't, I, I don't want to say dated, but I guess it is. Because it was kind of, like, supposed to be, like, groundbreaking. And I, I don't think that these people making this indie movie need to be, like, you know, literally creating, like, a groundbreaking, um you know, website. <laughs> I don't think that they need to literally create a groundbreaking website to make a movie about one, but it's just like, you gotta kind of suspend, um, suspend disbelief while you're watching it because it's like they're, they spend over an hour explaining to you, th like, the process of, um, like, data mining pretty much. And I mean, you know, Two years later, we live in a world where it's like, you know, we're all very aware of the fact that that's going on with everything that we do and say, um, you know, so I, I don't know. I mean, I can understand why some some people would like look at that and be like, oh, this is like dated. Um, I don't know. I, it's just like it's a movie, you know. If, if you feel that way, then you should probably just not, you should probably just watch, like, documentaries. But anyway, um, so they talked a lot about this website, whatever, and the whole thing, the, the crazy face or whatever, it was like they wanted to find videos to put on their front page to get to make them go viral and get clicks, right? Because clicks are money. And they found this one where it was like, a, it was really atmospheric. It was like a girl walking through a cemetery and like she, I don't know, it's like, it's like what's going on here? Because it was really, it, it drew you in watching it and then it's like a jump scare and it's like that face and it screams and it, and first of all, like I hate jump scares because half the time they're like so predictable that it's just like stupid. And then the other half the time they like really get me and that, that upsets me. I don't like being got. So, um, you know, but this one, I mean, since it's called Screamers, I knew what was going to happen. So long story short, they find a couple different S Screamer videos all with the same people. And then they're like, these people are our money makers. So they basically like invade their privacy, find who posted the videos, even though it was posted privately. They contact them, they harass them, they go and they break into their house. I mean, they don't really break in, but like the door creepily opens as it will in horror movies and you know old Tom just walks on in it's it's been over an hour you're like I was literally sitting there in the theater like is this a horror movie um is is the scary part this jump scare in a video within the movie because that was like such a minuscule part of the stuff leading up to the point where they go they trace the video source back to Rochester, New York, the great state of New York. So they go there and like, um, like I said, they just waltz on into this house. And um, if you are going to watch this and you don't want the ending spoiled, stop this video now. I will give you that much of a warning. And here we go. So they waltz on in they get picked off one by one. Basically, you know, it's like that kind of creepy thing where it's like you see people in the background and it's like you see this Francis character walking through. So as they're doing like data mining and they're looking for clues on these videos, they look in the cemetery video. They find the name on the grave marker is like this Francis name or something. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, that's the name of the guy from that was the main suspect of Jack the Ripper. So you're like, okay. 
I was thinking, like, wasn't Jack the Ripper? I mean, don't judge me because I was really bad in history class, but wasn't Jack the Ripper, like, a old, old English, like, dude? Like, didn't, wasn't he, like, an old English dude that, like, killed prostitutes? Like, I don't think he's buried in America, and I was like, if they're in Rochester, New York, why is Jack the Ripper's ghost there? Why isn't he in England? So, you know, shame on me for thinking that, but, um, <laughs> like, suspend your disbelief, right? It's a movie. But, um, I was, in, I was immediately like, that's an English ghost. What are you doing? But I don't know. If, is his body, like, buried in the United States? Um, if it is, leave me a comment, because I'm not looking that shit up. So, um... I don't know. So that was that. The girl, they find out the girl in the videos. So we have this, ooh, the ghost of Jack the Ripper. And then um, the girl in the videos, her name was Tara. They find out that she was missing for years. And then here she is, creepily wearing some dress in a cemetery, getting screamed at by some Jack the Ripper ghost. So, um, and I mean, they, they paint her, they look, they creep on her like, you know, her social network profiles or whatever and they're like oh she's like a party girl she's like a you know shush she's like a um i don't know like a free spirit so she's being held hostage by this jack the ripper ghost so now they have like a missing persons element to this entire movie so they go they're in this creepy house that they just walk in into they should have never did it but um they get picked off one by one. The last person to get picked off is the girl, Abby. She's like hiding in a closet or something and then like she gets screamed and you know, she's gone, that's it. But then it shows a video like recreating the original cemetery thing, but the girl in the creepy dress and all the atmospheric stuff is Abby, it's not Tara. So it's like, ooh, you know, she got sucked in and she got, like, obviously it's this Jack the Ripper ghost that's, like, demonizing people, and now she's stuck in this hellish nightmare. She, she's, like, being, like, confined in this creepy house in Rochester, New York, and being forced to make terrible screamer videos to be posted to Giggler. I don't... I mean, it was, um... The, the, the atmospheric parts were pretty creepy, um... But other than that, like, it was so slow. I was sitting there thinking, is this literally just a video telling me about some made-up video website? Um, and if so, that's a really good joke. Good for you, Dread Central Presents, um, for, like, getting me to watch that. But, um, I don't know. I don't know that I would watch it again. Like I said, it's out on Video On Demand um, right now. So, I mean... You give it a shot because maybe you'll like it. I don't know. I mean, if you want to support like indie horror and like, um, you know, stuff like that, like I'll, I'll give anything a watch. I've watched way worse things. I will say I've watched way worse things in my time. And, um, I don't know. This was interesting. I'm glad that I got the chance to see it because otherwise, you know, like I wouldn't have. So, um, I'll definitely be going back to Dread Central Presents stuff in the future. Um, I missed Terrifier. If anybody has seen that, you know, let me know how that is. I heard really good things about it. Um, and they're doing, I forget the one that they're, they're showing, like, later. It's, like, direct or something. Um, I forget what it is, but Penn Gillette's in it. Um, check back on my channel. I will be um, going to more Dread Central Presents events and uh, screenings and stuff in the future because I really appreciate what they're doing for indie horror. Um, really appreciate them making it accessible for a lot of people. It's very cool and um, I will try to make some videos on the Dread Central Presents things that I see in the future because, um, you know, I'm trying to get some more, uh, some more attention to things like this because, I don't know, I, I feel like, you know, they put a lot of work into this movie. It was really well made. Like, um, I will say, it was really well made. Um, there's there's some quality work that went into it, for sure. Um, you could tell that it was 
it was really labored over, so I really appreciate that. Um, it was good. Very slow start. So check it out on Video On Demand. I will be making more videos about weird movies and stuff, so check back later. Um, cheers, and I don't know. <laughs> Bye.